vibrate my toe in the earthquake. I'll fix it in a second. There, quit. Hey everybody, Kent Martz here from Explore Scientific with the wrong graphic up, but you know what? That's okay, it's just par for the course. How about that? So, today is on the wing, so we're going to be talking about birding essentials. Uh, I don't have any birds prepared uh, pictures today, so you're just going to have to uh, imagine, imagine pretty birds in your They were, they were supposed mind. to see this. So... There we go. Now we got an official entry there. Thanks for joining us today here on the social media broadcast warm up for Amazon Live. Today we're going to be talking about birding essentials, and part of that is going to be let's do the show sort of backwards today. This is a spotting scope, a fantastic tool for birding. This is the 20 power to 60 power zoom uh, uh, spotting scope from Alpen. It's got an 80 millimeter aperture right here and a 20 to 60 zoom built in. The zoom is a really cool zoom power. Uh, the ability to zoom in on things is really nice. Lots of binoculars can't do it and they certainly don't have the zoom power from the 20 to the 80 millimeter or 80x zoom. This comes with a fine focus knob and a coarse focus knob right here so you can get very prime pristine focus as well as the ability to simply turn it to where you get a very comfortable eye position if that's what fits you right there then you're sitting down or whatever uh, gives you a really comfortable eye position to use when you're looking through the device now this spotting scope does not come with a tripod it's shown here for illustrative purposes uh, this is one that comes on another tripod uh, with another spotting scope does not come with this and but uh, you can find all sorts of uh, tripods out there that these can go on uh, really nice if you're going to be looking at stationary targets or slow moving targets lots and lots of birders use these you'll see these in birding circles lots of places this spotting scope comes with a it's waterproof but it comes with a protective sleeve as well so that the sleeve is going to simply slip on and I can't slip this one on all the way because I've got a tripod on but you get the idea it goes on it has a little hole down here so you can mount it on a tripod right there where my fingers are coming out see the dog fingers or scissor fingers so what would be a good practical use for this particular uh, spotting set of things if right you, if right you're going to be right. somewhere where you have a tabletop or a you know something you can set the, the tripod ground. on hood of a car uh, that's where I've used it when I've been out looking in fields uh, for ducks and geese that are a long ways off. You get a much better view with this high power. And at that magnification, you know, 60 or 80 power magnification, you have to be able to hold them still. They're so hard that you can't hand hold things. And the more you move, the less detail you can see. So sitting on the hood of a car, tailgate of a truck, hood of a truck for that matter, top of a truck, uh, a park bench, things like that. Uh, railings, you could certainly take a mini tripod, fold the legs up like this, and use it just like that as a mini tripod. I wouldn't let go of it, but you could certainly use it as a mini tripod and uh, get some stability there or and, and look out. What'd you say? 
monopod. Yeah, turn it into almost a monopod. This is, has the legs out just a little bit, but you squish them in all the way, and effectively you've got a monopod. It's still going to give you much more stability than you're going to have if you are simply ever trying to handhold a spotting scope. And boy, the screen on my monitor is dancing around. How deep. So anyway, this is the Alpen 20 power to 60 power Apex 80 millimeter spotting scope, beautiful, bright, it can't. fantastic coatings, makes a great, great device. Hey, Paul. Go over there to that computer and hit F11. Frank 11. No, don't hit Frank. He didn't do anything to you. Poor oh, guy. that's much better. It's but not jumping around like it's having a little seizure there. You are welcome, my Thank you, Paul. Sir. So, anyway, great little spotting scope. We're also going to talk about some binoculars, and I'm going to go ahead and talk about a pair of binoculars here real quick before we go silent for a couple of minutes and start the Amazon Live broadcast. And the pair of binoculars I want to talk about is a pair I've been promoting a little bit here recently. This is the Alpen excuse me, the Bresser 6x21, show you the box here, the Bresser 6x21 yeah. specialized binocular for kids. It says right there, specialized. These are for kids, but I'm telling you, this is a real pair of binoculars. Glass optics, metal body, has a diopter, real deal binoculars. I advocate, you know, if you're going to be going bird watching and want to get your kids involved, Get them a pair of these, but you know what? Get yourself a pair of these, too. Go out with the same binoculars your kids are using, and you know how that's going to make them feel because they see you using what they're using. I know that I've used this before. My dad bought my brother and I real fishing gear when we were kids, and lots of our friends were out trying to use the uh, rinky-dink cheap kids pieces the rods are a little small and short and just didn't work and we had so much more fun with that and got a lifetime of enjoyment same with binoculars dad let us use his binoculars but if you want to get an inexpensive pair of binoculars the breasts are six by 21 specialized kids binoculars binocular for you these are good for adults as well a really excellent well-constructed pair of binoculars passes passes the twist test with flying colors you twist it if they don't twist you know they're assembled well pass the twist test with flying colors what time is it paul 52 52 got a couple of minutes left uh great for birding great for astronomy i've actually gone out and used these Outside at night, uh, the moon looks fantastic with this. Uh, Jupiter and Saturn are small, but you can tell what's going on. You can see the Galilean moons with these binoculars, no problem at all. Um, really elegant, well-designed, small kids' pair of binoculars. Can't say enough about this pair of 6x21 specialized binoculars right here. And <coughs> the extremely popular... NASA Geographic 8x42. Oh, we didn't talk about what those numbers mean, Paul. The numbers. The first number is an 8. That means the eyepieces right here have an 8 power magnification, right? And the 42 means that there's 42 millimeters of uh, aperture bringing light into the eye. Now, this is a NASA Geographic pair of 8x42 binoculars, a fantastic seller. We sell a lot of these for people who are wanting to get into uh, binocular, binocular use, whether it's sports, uh, outdoor use, excuse me, outdoor use, birding, whatever, great way to get in to the hobby uh, of binoculars need, with this. Do you need to go nice off air, Kent? Sir? Do you need to go off air? No. Not yet. We can. Yeah, let's go ahead and shut down and let's go ahead and. Uh, Get ready for, it's time anyway, get ready for the Amazon Live broadcast. Um, okay. So we'll see you over on Amazon Live here in a minute. We start at 2 o'clock Central Time every day. We're going to continue to talk about binoculars. See you over there in a few minutes, everybody. Thanks for joining us here on social media.
Huh? Yeah, we're out. Thank <music> you.